Hi everyone, it's Donna with Embroidery.com. I've got some great machine embroidery projects to share with you today. First up are these adorable trio of pumpkins. These are from PJ Design. It's called From the Pumpkin Patch. So you've got this perfect Halloween one with the cute little face in the top pumpkin, one in the bottom pumpkin, and then trick or treat in the middle. I think this just turned out so cute. It's done all in the hoop. Um, I love her choices of fabric with the orange, the black, and the splash of purple. I think that is just so cute. And then, of course, the cute little black bow up here. But I think this just turned out absolutely adorable for Halloween. But I love that you get two choices with this pack. You can do one for fall, or you can even keep it up through Thanksgiving. Um, again, her fabric here is just really, really beautiful. You got the beautiful browns and oranges of fall. These felt leaves I absolutely love. It just adds that little bit of extra dimension to the whole project. And then this beautiful ribbon, of course, just, oh, it's just so pretty. So again, these are all done all in the hoop. Uh, PG Design, we've paired it with some Hemingworth thread. Uh, we paired it with marigold, buttercup, seaweed, mocha, magenta, and huckleberry. Again, I just think these turned out really, really sweet. So that is from the pumpkin patch from PJ Design. So talking about sweet, check out these sweet feet. How adorable are these? So these are from uh, Kimberbell. They're called Sweet Feet. They're the witch's sweet feet. And so you get uh, the two designs for each foot. And then it also has in there uh, trick or treat smell my feet <laughs> and then you make the legs out of a stack of Oreos and slide them in there wrap them up in some uh, Cellophane and then put them in there and these just turn out absolutely adorable These ones here were done with glitter flex and have some cute little pumpkin buttons These ones were done on some really pretty uh, black with glitter uh, felt have some cute ghost buttons and then candy corns Hello, what says Halloween more than candy corns? But these just turned out just so sweet. <laughs> I just love these. I would love to be gifted a pair of these cute little sweet feet. So those are from Kimberbell. So last week I showed y'all the Halloween ghosts that you could hang outside in your trees. We'll check these ones out. These ones we did on some cheesecloth or like a, a, a thin flour sack towel. And then we did that tried and true where you hang it over a balloon and let it dry. <laughs> Look how adorable they turned out though. These would be perfect for your tablescape, having a Halloween party. So there are 12 faces and 12 hands, uh, but you get them in two sizes. So you can see here, here's the big winky and there's a small winky. They just turned out so cute. So again, you get them in two sizes, uh, 12 faces, 12 hands. We paired them with some Hemingworth thread. So uh, you get chrome, pink kiss, candy apple, uh, charcoal, fiery sunset, and dandelion. I, <laughs> I love these. I just think they turned out absolutely adorable. You'll have ghosts on the inside and ghosts on the outside. <laughs> okay, finally for today, we have these adorable uh, Critter Kids bathrobes. So this cute little frog here, this cute little monkey. So you get the faces, there's 11 different animals. There's the monkey, the frog, um, a bear, a cat, a dog, a pig, a mouse, there's a couple others. But so you get the faces and hands, so he's got some cute little frog hands. And then on the back of him here, he's got a fly. And then the monkey has a tail, the monkey has a tail. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are just so cute. With 11 different tabs, your little critter could be covered after bath time for a week and a half. <laughs> but these just turned out so adorable. I think these will be perfect for Christmas presents this year. So we've paired them with some Hemingworth thread as well. Um, we've paired it with cherry wood, uh, baby pink, orange slice, Kelly green, country blue, and sun. So those are the Critter Kids bathrooms. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's videos. If you have any questions on any of the packs I showed you here today, check out my machine embroidery blog on embroidery.com. Make sure you also turn your notifications on. That's how you'll know a new video is up. 
As always, I love to hear from you, so please place your comments and suggestions below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week.